actor, a script writer, a sound man, a lights man, a costumier, a makeup person, an editor, or in any aspect of filmmaking. Do you want to improve your abilities? in any of these aspects of filmmaking or do you want to learn to achieve one or all the aspects of filmmaking pro lens films academy is just the answer waiting to imbibe in you the acts of filmmaking collect your admission from today at continental pride limited Uber market office complex Uber market benin city and continental pride limited 14 cook road the home of do okao mv no one benin city pro lens film academy teaching you the act of action and went to sleep. Mm -hmm. While Obai Waipe made bold to regain his power. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He and his allies were in a confab on how to nail the coffin. Mm -hmm. But Okaviobe. 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 Yes. Mm -hmm. The traditional minister for information, mm -hmm. lands and survey would not allow them to switch deliberation.
kept his majesty up in this time. the beauty of this car. Now the stars and the moon have disappeared. Leaving darkness upon her heart. I want to get it down. Why did you get to me as a woman? I want to marry. of the desert. What can I stop the company of the wind? What great disaster. I want them certainly thinking. No one comes to the world to become king in a land. Here a king is born and not made. But what manner of life has the dawn of the day brought upon me? It, the, the beauty queen of great error. Now come on now. This is inconceivable. What has come over you that you speak to the song? I hope all is well. The song of a lonely woman is usually honest. Forgive me, my lord, if I sound the same. How was your visit to see the Calmness is the beauty of your courage. It was at Oselu that uh, word reached me. I know the sky is troubled, but how much of his tears have, have touched the surface of the earth? Why you were aware to sell him? He has a lead, a son, a son. The youths and warriors here they took everybody and almost everything of value. They rebel against your enemies. Rebelled against me. why my palace is like a desert. What about my executioners? They took everyone. And why are you still here? I resisted, my lord. They had to live without me. Mm -hmm. Yes, it dares to wrestle with the lion. My lord, I will suggest that you go inside and have your bath. Change to fresh clothes. After you eat some food, we shall then talk about Yasin and how to deal with the situation. It's a long journey from Silo. Woman, the earth quakes and you talk to me about bathing and food and fresh clothing. Don't increase my anger, woman. Please understand my point of view. I know you are a great man of many battles. But in this one, I am the only warrior by your side. So this is a new kind of battle.
and it is a battle that must be won. Victory is the son of good planning. To plan positively, we must be of good courage, fresh body, filled stomach, and of a sound mind. This battle is to win back the loyalty of your rebelling subjects. This is a battle we must begin by beating on the tiredness of your majesty. Your courage as a woman startles me. But what amazes me more is the wisdom of that courage. It goes to remind me of my late mother. Ah, my lord. Who am I to be compared with the Yoba? You know I cannot provide for you in this situation. Why do you want to suffer with me, even though I have not been able to comfort you with a child? Oba mm Ewak. -hmm. The pride of the Holy Son, the king of the greatest kingdom in the whole world. Please do not weaken your spirit by asking too many questions. Who could best climb the tree that Ted has climbed? The cry of a child brings joy to a world. That I am not comforted with one does not take away my love and loyalty to my husband. Let me fetch you some water to please. Like the struggling goat is about to give up the ghost. And the dangerous grass is spreading across the white path. I, 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 I don't understand your thinking, mother. <laughs> what a child. Oh, Bazola the Great promised that you will marry. And she became his queen. When he also promised her death. <sighs> her time suddenly ended. But who dares to promise the, the, the king's mother an untimely death? Comfort yourself, my son, and listen to me. <sighs> when God calls, The heavens and the earthquakes. No man, no man can dictate for God. Let me leave you with that token with which you always recall my words in time to come. Mother, I am completely lost. When were you crowned king over this kingdom? Two years. 1780. That was the year you got the name Ewakbe. Soon after the Ugiso dynasty, every crowned king had two names. The one given to them at birth and the one they got as king. But yours, my son, Yours was different. You mean I had more than two names? That is correct. Ewakbe was your third. 
When I gave birth to you, your grandfather, Barogene the Great, named you Idova. Soon after, your own father saw that the name Idova would also in anarchy. It's prophesied by Obai Wari the Great at that time. Idova. Why did he give me such a name? Your destiny, my son. Your destiny revealed how your life would turn out. This prompted your father, Akenuzama, to change your name, thinking it will also change your destiny. He now named you Eheniga. That is the name you answered till you were crowned king. But my son, it was not your place to be crowned king. Your own father, Kenuzama, the first son of Obawa, Urogene the Great, was the next to be crowned king. But as a man of compassion, he declined the crown on account of old age, knowing that you may not succeed him. Why not? I was his first son. <laughs> My son, succession is not purely by hereditary. His brothers stood a better chance. So, he blessed you with a crown. <laughs> blessed me with a crown? He was said to have died in his sleep before his coronation. He had to give unto Caesar what belonged to Caesar. Because a son cannot be king over the father in our kingdom. That part is buried in mystery. <sighs> this brought you to the throne faster than your destiny that made a prophecy come true. Now, my son, the tiger is becoming helpless. Mother, please make your words plain. Should all precautions fail, my son, and the prophecy of Obaiwai the Great crystallizes, go to my mother land Ikoka. Ikoka. <laughs> what brings Ikoka into these discussions? <laughs> you wouldn't understand. <laughs> Ikoka is my place of birth. It was at that province. My father named me Iwebonosa. Iwebonosa. Most likely. When I'm coming back into this world, I will pass through that land. My endless pride. Stop chastising your subjects. And don't forget to go to Ikoka. Should the prophecy for by why the great come true. All right, mother. All right. That, that, that's enough, mother. I think you should rest. Um, <laughs> enough. You should have some rest. I'm going back to my palace and I'll come back and see you in a, in a fortnight. Now remember.
Mother. Ogota mami oka ya kwa Eta ogota yimeo Ogota mami oka ya kwa Eta ogoto Izele mupo upi bagina e Ibu pando ogoba pale pegu ogwa yimeo I mentioned that you are the uh, only warrior fighting beside me in this battle. Right now, I am deeply worried. What troubles my lord so deeply? It's only early in the morning. Many months have passed since darkness besieged our royal path. And the road is getting narrower by the day. What exactly is on the mind of His Majesty? I have checked the yam ban and all the other food items. We only have few left. Does Oba Ewape become a farmer? You are king so long as you have a subject in me. If it comes to farming, I, Ide, your subject shall do that for you. The food we have left will last us for three days. Besides, I have some of my clothes that I can sell to sustain us for you. It, uh, oh, you show me kindness and you courageously give me hope in the face of hopelessness. You cause me to dream the undreamable while at the same time reminding me constantly that I am king. You propose to sell your clothes so that the boat does not sink. All this make me worry even more. I have decided to grant you freedom so that you can seek your destiny elsewhere. I will go to Ikoka the land of my beloved mother to seek for some help for the palace when food cluster they get harvested together should my lord feel indebted to me and wish to pay for my loyalty my price shall be to let me stay with you till the end nothing else will make me happy obey oh my queen of all seasons you are a warrior in your own right. And I can see that you are determined to see this to its end. What else should a woman desire, my lord? <laughs> what else indeed? Very well. Prepare my sub-bearer and I to travel to Ikoka to seek some help for the palace. We shall be back in three days. <laughs>
choose the next song we are going to sing? Why? Eh, food. Why? Sister, let's take that one. Now. That one is simple. Eh. Do you like the song? Yes. yes. Okay. Before we sing another song, Baba promised to tell us his story today. Yes. Go and call him to tell us his story. For sure, it's <laughs> Just wait until I get married to you. Then you will know how much more I can still do for you. You have already done enough. Oh, all, all I have done is, is to the reach of my, of my convenience. It is only when I'm out of it that I would know that I've made you a sacrifice. That is how to show love. What is love? Love, <laughs> my dear. Love is a de displayed a kindness and willingness to make a sacrifice. The type I am willing to do for you. Just go to my parents and pay my bride price. That is how to secure the loyalty of a wife in her kingdom. Look, I will do that in due course. But let us, let us enjoy this love that we share. Love is intoxicating, but loyalty is solemn. This is the virtue of a wife. But our culture does not permit me to give you more. But I ask for nothing more. I own you already. Not without your bright prize on my head. It is the right of my father to decide the man of my life. Are you not a Bini man? Of course I am. All I am asking for is, is for you to spend some time with me in the privacy of my room. After that, of course, I will pay your vice price. And, uh, and believe me, I, I love you. The pride of a young woman is in her virginity. I cannot lose that to you on account of love. I owe it to my husband. Come. Let's get out of here. Oh, good day. Good day. Oh. Let's go. Come. Dada. <laughs> To explain to you that I can no longer see you. So is true. Your parents betrothed you to the king? It is their right to do so. After all I have done? No Binima can love your mother on his own. Ingratitude. No. It is a display of love. Because he is the king? Because he was man enough to pay my bright price. How much? 24 cowries? That is the much you could not pay. Is that all the king is what? Where was the king when your parents needed to be excavated from the shackles of poverty? Where was the king? Was he blind? I will not have you speak ill of my husband. Then let me speak ill of your ungrateful parents. My parents appreciate you. They waited for two good years for you to do what is customary. But 
You were blinded by love that you could not see loyalty. Please, hear say. My parents and I respect your good nature. Marriage is not just all about love and kindness. But it is predicated on commitment and loyalty. Oh. Yes, sir. Farewell. This will be the last time you will touch me. Tonight, I will be escorted to my husband's house as custom demands. As soon as my feet are washed at the entrance of his house, I shall belong there forever. He has secured my loyalty and endless love. To him, I will give the pleasure of my body and the loyalty of my life to have and to hold till death to us back. So help me God. <laughs> King shall pay for this. He will pay. If I cannot have her, no one else would. This is the promise of my love for her. Against the children, my lord. Tell me, what troubles your mind? Oh. The rainbow is about to shed one of its colors. That all seem well. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Somewhere in the far east, a great star is about to descend. Hmm. Hope this will not to me. On the contrary. It will fill my heart with joy and promote me in the kingdom. Hmm. You mean promote our place? This descending star will avenge my past and prosper our future. Better. Then come and celebrate the children and enjoy your smooth. You go and be with the children. The eyes of the owl can never be wide enough until its victim lies still. You may go, you may go. All right, my husband. <laughs> Nobody. That's it. 
Great chiefs of our kingdom. We are better. Great chiefs of our kingdom. If we are saying attack, we are saying attack. What is the meaning of all this? Why don't we listen to each other as we reason together? Why must we behave like children? Don't you see the Esokan here? How calm he is? Please, great chiefs. Please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Talk me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Talk me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you are afraid of Okari Ube, I am not. Who invited this drunk to this meeting? Why won't you call me a drunk? I said, why won't you call me a drunk? I do not. Is it wrong to say that we should pay homage to our king? There shall be no homage. That is because you don't even have any to pay. Do I owe him? I don't know. Never, sir. Esso, the king conferred on you the shifting sea title of Esso. And you, Esso, looking like a moron. Obey what they conferred on you. The title of the Esogman of Benin Kingdom. Now for three months running. You have listened to the Yase who directed that no one should pay homage to the Oba. The gods will certainly you stop talking this nonsense. If you have nothing else to say, you better keep quiet. Yes, I talk my head. Yes, I talk my head. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You should also keep your mouth shut. Did did you people hear him? Imagine. Did you hear him? Is our king your equal? How dare you challenge the lion of the desert? Where lies your strength? Remember that no one argues with the other. No one betrays his majesty. No one, living or dead, in this land or far away from this land, rebels against the other. What is going on? Yes, sir. I have not finished with you. What is boiling you up like a mad goat? Ah! 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 What? what is boiling you ah! up? Ah! That you, 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 you dare to rebel against the pride of our land. You talk to me with such rudeness. See who's talking? Myself? You, yes sir. Your reason for rebelling against or by workmen is that the man has become an autocrat. As you allege. Mm -hmm. yes. Now, barely three months. Barely three months of leading a rebellion, you have become a dictator. I'm disappointed in you. Here, yeah, sir. Chiefs, we are the elders of the land. That's true. That's true. That's true. Should we imagine for one moment that your bad strategy is to turn us against one another? We'll be doomed before we start. Okavi Ogbe has some root truth in his rudeness. Uh -huh. I'm inclined to take his truth and disregard the rudeness. If we must succeed, Iyase must be democratic in his approach to leading this revolt. Now someone has chosen to be reasonable. Democracy has been the hallmark of the governance of Benin Kingdom. Our kingdom, indeed, has enjoyed democracy since after the reign of Ogiso Aigo, of the Ogiso dynasty. Who is this here, sir? To, to take us to, to the dark days of tyranny again. Who is here, sir? Okay, my people, it would only take time. It would only take time. But a stammerer 
will ultimately call his father's name. Did you hear him? Let him go. Yes, sir. Let him go. Yes, sir. He said, after all, it's only a drug. <laughs> 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 What brings you to this other side of life? The dove do not fly alone. What is chasing you? Or should I ask? What is it that you seek? The eyes of the gods on earth. I came to seek help for my husband. Those the gods have chosen, the gods protect. The destiny of your husband is in his hands. The gods do not consult by proxy. Uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. My husband needs a word with the gods. My child, it is in chaotic times that the chosen ones are known. Your step of fate is favored. Otherwise, the gods do not vacate his domain. In that case, could you come to the palace by tomorrow when he will be back from his journey? Go home at once and pray for his safe return. By tomorrow, the night and the day shall converge in his courtyard of justice. God bless the king. Amen. Thank you.
land of my late mother of blessed memory. I bring you good tidings. You must have heard of the mutiny in my palace for the last six months. How can we be aware? Did you send words to us? And what is good about the tidings of mutiny that you brought of their way? How can you interrupt our guests so rudely? Ah, uh, please, Abai Wakbe, we are listening. Thank you, Owe. As I was saying, I was alone in the palace with my dear wife Hide and my sword bearer who has accompanied me here. Your son, the pride of Ikoka, was prevented from getting any service during this period. <coughs> he has had to face starvation and misery. So I have come to Ikoka, the land my mother, Ewe Bonoza, loved so much, for some help for the palace. Elders of Ikoka. Where are talking? Here is one of our own asking us for help. You will recall that he is the son of our late daughter, Ewe Bonoza, who has brought so much glory to our land. Life is a paradox. And like a pendulum, his request is now before you for consideration. Hey. What did you say? Huh? 
never. I say never. There is nothing to consider in this man's request. He never buried his mother for us. It was here at Ikoka we mourned at our daughter. Yes, you are right. Gallant men of Ikoka were sent to Benin to help carry out the funeral rites. Hmm. Only I, Oyegwe, came back alive. The others did not just die. They were murdered by this man sitting before us today, seeking help. Except he is able to bring back the dead from the bosom of Osanobwa, a where this man must live now or die by the hands of I, Oyegwe. The man who slept with the serpents to get to Ikoka. He must live now or face death in my hands. Away, oh, what insolence is this? Now. I sympathize with you, Obaye Wakbe. Our son here, Oyegwe, has spoken very well, even though in anger. You don't beat a child and forbid him to cry. You were most unfair to us concerning our sons that you executed. We are members of your mother's family and cannot be deprived of our rights to her burial as you did. As long as you have not performed her funeral rites, tradition does not permit us to regard you as an elder of this town. It simply follows that Ikoka cannot serve you. Yes. Well said. As a youth, which you are, by the circumstances of your failure, to perform your mother's right for Ikoka. It is your place to serve this land. Tradition is the way a people behave repeatedly in a given circumstance. Why culture is a way of life of a people. What I have just explained to you is our tradition and our way of life. I have spoken. <clears throat> Elder Sophie Koka. We are talking. You have spoken well. But when a child is, he is cautioned with the king on the right hand, while the left comforts him. You will recall that this is our own son, Obai Wakbe, who killed, murdered, I mean executed some of our own. We demand only that they be returned back to us alive. Yeah. Secondly, before the sons and daughters of this land can serve you, Ikoka demands that you first become an elder in the land. Even now, where will you? You can only achieve this by joining the youth in community work in the areas of uh, road clearing, mm -hmm. uh, well digging, and uh, roof mending. Uh, 
Are these not what you demand? We are talking. Yes, sir. Elders of Ikoka, why do you insult me so callously? Why do you ask me to pick up tools to join the youth in communal work? How could you but forget with so much convenience the love and compassion that the palace of Ewakwe favored you with because of my mother, Ewe Bonaza. Ikoka. Ikoka. Lion! Oh, Goyo! Oh, Goyo! Today is the spiritual day set aside by the gods for judgment upon this land. Therefore, I call our gods, our ancestors, our forbearers, our forerunners, princes and princesses, the many deities of the black race, day and night, the many spiritual voices and echoes in our kingdom to bear me witness that I was born a king and not a commoner. Ha! But Ikoka chose to insult me as one. For as long as the sun shines and darkness precedes the dawn of the day, Ikoka shall labor she shall, he shall be denied the ability to provide. As you mend your roads, so shall the weeds multiply. As you cleanse your wells, so, the, so shall the sand of the earth fill it. As you mend your roofs, Oh, so often shall you confront leakages. Oh! Oh! Ikoka. Ikoka could not even offer me food or drink. Me! Me! Forever shall you thirst and hunger. Ikoka! Ah! Ikoka! Oh! As the crowned king of the great ancient kingdom of Benin, I evoke my vested power of divinity and decree that never, never shall you have a man of prominence on this land. Of course, I exempt the women because of my beloved mother, Ewe Bonoza, who might be born to this land in our next life. And as for the Beninese, who made room for such callous insult, 
never never again shall they be united in evil conspiracy Sugie, Sugie. Never, never shall a man of prominence emerge from this land. This is forbidden fruit, a callous insult. Ikoka, Ikoka. Ikoka! Ikoka! As I have petitioned, so shall it be. From generation to generation, even unto the end of time. Ikoka! 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 Hey, that's for our province. I'm scared. The cause of an oba is a burden on the people. Now planted, this cause must not be allowed to germinate. I think we should ask for his forgiveness. I see some wisdom in Amadi's words. That is wisdom limited in scope. What is there to be scared of? What cause has he laid that could become a burden? That we will continue to clear our rows of wheat, our well of drain, our roof of leakages. Tell me, is that a curse? That has been the order even before he a workway was born. Besides, he decreed that never again shall a man of substance emerge from Ikoka, but exempt the women. These are our wives, our mothers, and our children. Tell me, what is wrong in a man spotting a snake and a woman? <laughs> Is it not for the snake to die? Yes. yes. I ask you, is that a cause? No. No. Let, 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 Let him go. Let him go to his misery in Benin. I, Oyegwe, left his palace for Ikoka. I am facing my misery. Let him go and face his.
As I have petitioned, so shall it be from generation to generation, even unto the end of time. Ikoka! Ikoka! 